There is a very easy way to find the equation of a line that is tangent to a given curve at a specific point. And in today's video, I want to show you how to do that method so that you can do these types of problems very easily on your own and quickly without wasting a lot of time. And tangent line equations is something that I talk about in my complete calculus one package. If you haven't already checked that out, there's a link down in the description where you can learn more about that and grab yourself a copy today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the problem and show you how to do this stuff. So here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're going to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at the given point. The curve that we're looking at is y equals x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus x, and the given point is 1, 2. So whenever you're doing these tangent line equation problems, you always want to start with just the generic form for the equation of a line. So in general, a line is going to look something like this. y equals m times x minus x0 plus y0, where m is the slope of your line and then x0, y0 is some point that that line goes through. Well, it's pretty convenient when you're trying to find the tangent line of an equation at a specific point, because there's two things that a tangent line has to have in common with the function or the curve at that point. First of all, they both have to go through that point. They have to share that point. So we know that this point one, two, it lies on this curve, and we also know that it, it has to lie on this tangent line equation. Otherwise, it's not a tangent line because it has to share a point in common with our function. And the other piece of information that we know about this tangent line as a result of the fact that it is a tangent line, in other words, what we know about tangent lines in general, is that they have the same slope as your function at that point where they are tangent to it. So what that means is we know that this line has to have the same slope as this curve at the point x equals one, y equals two. So since m tells us about the slope of this tangent line, we know that m is gonna be whatever the slope of this function is when x equals one. Well, in order to find the slope of a specific function at a specific x value, all you have to do is take that function's derivative. So we're gonna start by taking the derivative of this function, y prime. And we can actually find this function's derivative just by using the power rule. The power rule says we're gonna bring our power down in front, leave our x there as the base, and then lower our power by one. So subtract one from the power. And this is actually gonna be applicable again to this term. We're gonna bring our two down in front. So we're gonna have, we already have a two down here. When we bring another two down in front, we're gonna get two times two, which is four. Leave our x as the base, and then lower our power by one. Two minus one is one. X to the first power is just x. So we can just leave it as four x. And then the derivative of x is just one. So we know that this is the derivative of our function. Well, what does the derivative tell you about the original function? It always tells you about the slope. You always wanna remember that. The derivative of a function always tells you about the original function's slope. So if we're trying to find the slope of y when x equals one, to figure that out, we just have to plug x equals one into the derivative of y, and that will output the slope of y at that point, at x equals one. So if we plug in one for x into this, we're gonna get four times one cubed plus four times one minus one. One cubed is just one, so we're gonna get four times one, which is four, plus four times one, which is four, minus one, four plus four minus one is seven. So what that tells us is the slope of our original curve that we had here, when x equals one at this point that we're given, the slope is seven. So we know that the slope of our tangent line has to be seven then. So what we can do is go ahead and put seven in for m. And then, like I said before, we also know that it has to share this point in common. We know that it has to go through the point one, two. So since x zero, y zero is some point that lies on this line, we can just use one for x zero and two for y zero in this tangent line equation. And then from here, what we wanna do is simplify this. So distribute the seven and then combine like terms, giving us our tangent line equation of y equals seven x minus five. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel too while you're down there and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all my new videos. And if you wanna keep learning more about tangent lines and how to find them, 
I've made a few other videos about it, so go ahead and click on one of those over there and keep on learning. Thanks and see you next time.